Chapter 1, The Legend In the quaint village of Elder Tree, nestled among rolling hills and ancient forests, there was a legend passed down through generations. It spoke of a golden locket, said to possess magical powers and hidden somewhere deep within the whispering woods. Twelve-year-old Tom had heard the stories many times from his grandmother, who always ended with a twinkle in her eye and a mysterious smile. Tom had always been fascinated by the legend. With his short, messy brown hair and inquisitive green eyes, he was known for his adventurous spirit and love for exploring the outdoors. One crisp autumn afternoon, as he was helping his grandmother tidy up the attic, he stumbled upon an old, dusty book titled, The Quest for the Golden Locket. Grandma, what's this? Tom asked, holding up the book. His grandmother's eyes widened with surprise. Ah, you've found it. That book contains the true story of the Golden Locket and the adventures of those who sought it. It's said that only the pure of heart can find it. Tom's curiosity was piqued. Do you think I could find it, Grandma? His grandmother smiled warmly. Anything is possible if you believe in yourself. The locket's magic is real, and it waits for someone worthy to uncover its secrets. That night, Tom could hardly sleep. The thought of embarking on a quest to find the golden locket filled his mind with excitement. He decided that he would set out the next morning, determined to be the one to finally uncover the legendary treasure. Chapter 2 The Map Early the next morning, Tom packed a small bag with essentials, water, snacks, a flashlight, and a compass. He also brought along the book he had found in the attic, hoping it would guide him on his journey. As he was about to leave, his grandmother handed him an old, rolled-up parchment. Take this map, Tom, she said softly. It has been in our family for generations. It will lead you to the whispering woods and beyond. Be careful and trust your instincts. Tom hugged his grandmother tightly and set off on his adventure. He followed the map, which led him through the village and into the surrounding countryside. The journey was long, but Tom's determination never wavered. By midday, he reached the edge of the whispering woods. The trees were tall and ancient, their leaves rustling softly in the breeze. The woods seemed to beckon him, whispering secrets and promises of adventure. Chapter 3 The Whispering Woods Tom took a deep breath and stepped into the forest. The air was cool and fresh, filled with the scent of pine and earth. As he walked, he couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at the beauty and mystery of the woods. The path was narrow and winding, and the forest grew denser with every step. Using the map as his guide, Tom navigated through the maze of trees and underbrush. He encountered various animals along the way, from curious squirrels to majestic deer. The forest seemed alive with magic, and Tom felt a sense of wonder with every step. After hours of walking, Tom came across a clearing with a small, sparkling stream running through it. He decided to take a break and sat down on a large rock by the water. As he rested, he noticed something glinting in the sunlight at the edge of the stream. Curious, Tom approached the object and discovered it was a small, golden key. He picked it up and examined it closely. The key was intricately designed, with delicate engravings and a tiny gemstone embedded in its handle. This must be important, Tom thought to himself, slipping the key into his pocket. Chapter 4 The Guardian 
As Tom continued his journey, he came upon a large, ancient oak tree with gnarled branches and thick roots. The tree seemed to emanate a powerful energy, and Tom felt drawn to it. As he approached, he noticed a figure sitting at the base of the tree. It was an old man with a long, white beard and piercing blue eyes. He wore a robe of deep green, adorned with symbols of nature and magic. The man looked up and smiled warmly as Tom approached. Greetings, young traveler, the old man said in a voice that was both gentle and wise. I am Elrond, the guardian of the Whispering Woods. What brings you to this ancient forest? Tom hesitated for a moment, then explained his quest to find the golden locket and the key he had discovered by the stream. Elrond listened intently, nodding thoughtfully. The golden locket is a powerful artifact, indeed. It holds the magic of the forest and the wisdom of generations. But the path to the locket is fraught with challenges and tests of character. Tom felt a surge of determination. I'm ready to face whatever challenges come my way. I believe in the legend, and I want to prove myself worthy. Elrin's eyes twinkled with approval. Very well, young Tom. To continue your journey, you must solve the riddle of the ancient oak. If you succeed, the path to the locket will be revealed. Chapter 5 The Riddle of the Oak Elrin stood and led Tom to the base of the ancient oak tree. He placed his hand on the trunk, and a hidden panel slid open, revealing a stone tablet with an inscription. Read the riddle carefully, Elrond instructed. The answer will unlock the next step of your journey. Tom read the inscription aloud, I am not alive, but I grow, I do not have lungs, but I need air, I do not have a mouth, and I can drown. What am I? Tom pondered the riddle, thinking about the clues. After a few moments, he smiled and confidently answered, Fire. Elrin's eyes gleamed with approval. Well done, Tom. You have answered correctly. As Elrin spoke, the ground beneath the oak tree began to tremble. The roots of the tree shifted, revealing a hidden staircase leading down into the earth. This staircase will take you to the heart of the forest where the golden locket lies hidden, Elrond explained. But be cautious, for the journey ahead will test your courage and wisdom. Tom nodded, feeling a mix of excitement and apprehension. He thanked Elrond for his guidance and began his descent down the staircase. Chapter 6 The Heart of the Forest the staircase led Tom to an underground cavern illuminated by a soft, golden light. The walls of the cavern were covered in glowing moss, and the air was filled with a faint, melodic hum. In the center of the cavern stood a pedestal, upon which rested a golden locket. Tom approached the pedestal cautiously, feeling a sense of awe at the sight of the locket. It was even more beautiful than he had imagined, with intricate engravings and a shimmering gemstone at its center. As he reached out to take the locket, a voice echoed through the cavern. To claim the locket, you must prove yourself worthy. Answer this final riddle, and the locket shall be yours. The voice recited the riddle, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Tom thought carefully, recalling the stories his grandmother had told him. After a moment of contemplation, he answered, an echo. The cavern fell silent, and then the pedestal began to glow with a brilliant light. 
The golden locket lifted into the air and gently floated into Tom's hands. You have proven yourself worthy, young Tom, the voice declared. The golden locket is now yours. Use its magic wisely and protect the secrets of the Whispering Woods. Chapter 7 The Power of the Locket With the golden locket in his possession, Tom felt a surge of energy and magic coursing through him. He knew that the locket held great power, but he also understood the responsibility that came with it. As he made his way back up the staircase, the locket glowed warmly in his hand. Tom emerged from the underground cavern to find Elrond waiting for him. Congratulations, Tom, Elrond said with a proud smile. You have succeeded in your quest and proven yourself worthy of the locket's magic. Tom thanked Elrond and promised to use the locket's power for good. He felt a deep sense of pride and accomplishment knowing that he had fulfilled the legend and discovered the treasure. Elrond placed a hand on Tom's shoulder. The locket will guide you and protect you. Remember the lessons you have learned and the wisdom of the forest. Your journey is only beginning. Chapter 8 The Return Home With the golden locket around his neck, Tom made his way back through the Whispering Woods. The forest seemed even more magical than before, and he felt a deep connection to the land and its secrets. As he reached the edge of the woods, Tom was greeted by his grandmother, who had been anxiously awaiting his return. Her eyes filled with tears of joy and pride as she saw the locket around his neck. Oh, Tom, you did it? she exclaimed, embracing him tightly. I knew you were destined for greatness. Tom smiled, feeling a sense of warmth and love. I couldn't have done it without your stories and guidance, Grandma. Thank you for believing in me. Together, they walked back to their village, where the news of Tom's adventure quickly spread. The villagers were in awe of his bravery and determination, and they celebrated his return with a grand feast. Chapter 9 The Legacy of the Locket Tom's discovery of the Golden Locket brought new life and excitement to the village of Elder Tree. The villagers were inspired by his story and the magic of the Whispering Woods. They began to explore the forest and discover its wonders, learning to appreciate and protect the natural world. Tom became a respected figure in the village, known for his wisdom and bravery. He used the power of the Golden Locket to help others and protect the forest, ensuring that its magic would endure for generations to come. He also shared his knowledge and experiences with the younger children, teaching them the importance of courage, curiosity, and respect for nature. Tom's grandmother continued to tell her stories, but now she had a new tale to share, the story of her brave grandson and his quest for the Golden Locket. Chapter 10 A New Adventure Years passed, and Tom grew into a wise and kind young man. He continued to explore the Whispering Woods and uncover its many secrets. The Golden Locket remained a symbol of his courage and the magic of the forest. One day, as Tom was walking through the woods, he came across a young girl named Lily, who was lost and frightened. She had heard the stories of the Golden Locket and had ventured into the forest in search of adventure. Tom smiled and knelt down beside her. Don't worry, Lily. The Whispering Woods can be a magical place, but it can also be dangerous if you're not careful. Let me help you find your way. Lily looked up at Tom with wide eyes, her fear turning to admiration. Are you the one who found the golden locket? 
Tom nodded, showing her the locket around his neck. Yes, and now it's my turn to help others find their way. Together, they walked through the forest, Tom sharing his knowledge and stories with Lily. As they reached the edge of the woods, Tom knew that his journey was far from over. There would always be new adventures and challenges, but he was ready to face them with courage and determination. And so, the legend of the Golden Locket lived on, a testament to the power of bravery, wisdom, and the magic of the natural world. Tom's story inspired generations to come, reminding them that anything is possible if they believe in themselves and the wonders of the world around them. As long as there were curious hearts and adventurous spirits, the magic of the Whispering Woods and the Golden Locket would never fade, and the legacy of Tom's quest would endure forever.